Hello and welcome to Unreal Made Easy and in today's tutorial we're going to just cover two simple things, two pieces of logic. One is going to be for uh, Ragdoll which we're going to just hit a button, which is going to be the R button and then we're going to hit Shift R and that's going to cause us to recover. Alright so let's not waste any time, let's go ahead and begin. Okay, to start out with, you're going to start with a fresh third person template. And within that template, you're going to go to the content drawer. And into the content drawer, you're going to go into the third person folder. Then next, the blueprints. We're going to use the third person character. Now, we just need to move a little bit to the side inside the event graph. And we're going to start our code here for the ragdoll. So, to start out with, I'm going to use the key R for ragdoll. So. Start with this, scroll down. We're going to have to find it. It's in alphabetical order. QR, and then we just R. Now, we're going to need the character's mesh. Drag that in. I'm going to grab two things from it. First, we're going to grab the set collision enable. Connected. And then when next we're gonna drag off again one more time. We're gonna set simulate physics. It's the next one we want. We're gonna connect that as well. For the collision settings here, we're gonna change this to Collision enabled Corian physics. And then we want to set simulate for true. Next, we're going to grab the movement, the character movement, drag from the character over here, set here. And we want to disable the movement because we don't want our character like flailing around. So we're going to do disable movement. Connect that up. That should finish that off. I, that's for the ragdoll. We're going to compile, save, do a save all. We're going to copy the, the R key, control C, and then control V. And then for this one, we're going to select it and in the details, we're going to use shift for the ragdoll recovery. Okay. Oh, one more thing we're going to add. We're going to add a variable right here in the variables. And we're going to say ragdoll. So that way we know we're in ragdoll mode. Enter. And we're going to drag off here. And we're going to set ragdoll mode after we connect it to true. Okay. Next, we're going to do the recovery. We're going to need the mesh, grab the mesh, drag it in, and we got to do the same thing. We're going to set simulate physics, set to simulate physics, and that's going to leave that as false. We're going to drag in our ragdoll and we're going to set the ragdoll the false. Connect that up. Neaten this up a bit. And then we're going to grab our camera boom. And we're going to do an attach to a component. So attach component to component. Set that up. See. Make sure. Drag off here. Connect it. And then for the parent, we're gonna hook up for this, we're gonna hook up the the actual the mesh. Now, we're gonna have to grab two things here. Or we're gonna and it's gonna be off the capsule component. Grab the capsule component. 
and we're going to get the location and rotation of it. So we're going to get the world, world location. Get world location. And then we're going to get world rotation. Rotation. There we go. Neaten it up a bit. Okay, and then while we're here, I'm going to drag off of here. And we're going to do a minus sign for the subtract. And for the Z axis, we're going to do 97. We're going to off the rotation. This is just so we can align the character after the ragdoll. Then for here, we're going to right click and we're going to split these pens. And then we're going to do for the Z axis here, we're going to do another subtract. And for this, we're going to do 90 degrees. Okay, next, we're going to need to grab our mesh again. Drag it into the viewport, or into the event graph. And we're going to set the location and the rotation. Set world location and rotation. We're going to use this one here. And then for this, we're going to we're going to hook up the rotation, I mean the location. And then we're going to split the pins for the rotation. And we're going to do the X for the X, Y for the Y. And then for the Z, we're going to use this, Z for Z. Make sure we connect that. Neaten our graph up here. And then we're going to pull off of here again for the mesh. And we're going to have to do another attach com to component. So attach to component, component to component. We're going to connect this up. And for the location for these three, um, for these three settings here, we're going to set this to keep world. We want the world, world's location, rotation, oh, sorry, world, and the scale. Keep that. And then, let's see here. Okay. Yes, make sure that we have... Okay, so we're going to need to have the parent component. So that's going to be the capsule. So it's going to follow the capsule here. It's the parent component. So drag the capsule in and hook that up. And then we've got to set our movement back. So our movement, we're going to grab right here, drag that into the event graph, pull off of here, and we're going to do set movement mode. And we're going to set it to walking. That way our character isn't stuck after being ragdolled and recovered. Okay. And then another thing that's important is for the socket, we want it to follow the pelvis. So pelvis. P E L and all lower caps. Same thing for over here. Pelvis. And you want to compile, save, and then save all. And that should cover it. Now we're gonna go back to our event graph. I mean, not to event graph, to our level, third person level. Click play. Click into the viewport or into the game. Move around, and then we're going to hit R. That's going to cause the ragdoll. As you can see, you can't move. All you can do is look around. And then we're going to hold down shift and R again. And that allows us to move around freely again. Well, that does it for today's video. I hope it was very helpful. Uh, click like and subscribe if this has helped you and have a wonderful day.